Hello and welcome to Akanksha Against Harassment. Today I'm going to talk to you about something called as cyber grooming. Many of you may have heard about it but aren't really sure of what this means. And a lot of concerned parents have been writing to me about incidents which involved cyber grooming. They just don't know what this phrase means. Let me explain to you. Cyber grooming is when someone is talking online in a way that makes you develop trust in them. but they are actually doing this so that it can be manipulated in future the most vulnerable to cyber grooming are teenagers in the age of about 13 to 15 years old why are they most vulnerable because they are undergoing a huge change in their bodies they are trying to develop trust in the way they carry about their body image you know they're having little frictions at home they need someone outside of their home to make them feel like adults There's some amount of friction going on in school and college and that's the advantage these cyber groomers are taking. It's a long process to build trust with these children, but once these groomers build the trust with children, it can lead to serious consequences. And studies are proving that cyber grooming is leading to severe assaults, kidnapping and a lot more other serious crimes, and that's why you need to know understand and be careful about it cyber groomers typically create a profile first to look like another child so that they can form a bond and over a period of time they say good things to the child make them feel good about their body image create a trust create a rift between the family and the child and their eventual goal is that they can meet the child in person and that's serious because you just don't know what this predator has in mind unfortunately not all groomers are complete strangers in some cases the groomer may be a family friend a person of authority a sports trainer an educator anybody in your extended circle so what are we going to do about it how do we identify that your child is being groomed and how do we prevent it first and foremost If your child suddenly starts behaving strangely odd going out at meetings to certain venues or at certain times which you're not comfortable with you need to keep a check on that if they're you know on their browser and you suddenly enter the room and they shut that browser they just close it and they don't want to tell you whom they're speaking to that's another alarm bell if you ever notice gifts which aren't explainable and you suddenly notice them having new electronic gadgets or sports gear i'm sure you want to know where your kids are getting those gifts from right because that's the incentive these groomers work with and we also want you to remember please that good kids make bad decisions at times but what you need to do is keep channels of communication open please know what kind of social media apps your child is using don't moderate be inclusive try and understand what is it that validation which they are looking for online which they may or may not be getting at home and give them this confidence that no matter what happens you are available to be able to talk to them these are a few things a very few simple tips which might be able to save your child from any kind of cyber grooming which is a serious area of concern today Should you need any further information on this please write in to helloakanksha@gmail let me spell that for you it's h e l l o a k a n c h a @gmail see you in the next episode of akanksha against harassment thank you